and welcome to the Axon Quick Start Guide. I am Steven van Bielen, the Axon Framework Lead Developer, and in this series of videos we'll be guiding you towards uh, an end product using Axon, products like Framework and Server. Today we'll be talking about part one, the structure of an Axon application. But prior to diving into that, we'll first have a couple of the Axon concepts which come into play when you're working with uh, an Axon application. Things you can think about which you might want to learn more about, like CQRS, the command query responsibility segregation, or using commands, events, and queries as your message-driven API, DDD, uh, event sourcing button, also very importantly, evolutionary microservice. These will all be concepts I'll be discussing, but not in depth. So if you want to learn more, we suggest you to go to our link down below. Now, let me dive into actually showing what we're going to do in this series. So here I have prepared a food ordering demo application. So this app will be in the food ordering domain. And we're going to discuss the structure of our application, like I said. So I first want to show you which dependencies we are using in this project. Now, this is our Maven file. We uh, are going to use a Spring Boot starter scenario because this greatly simplifies the overall configuration of our app so that we can focus on the very specific bits rather than on how to configure everything. So, letting you focus on the business functionality instead of non-functional requirements like how to configure things. Uh, we're going to use uh, 4.1.2 Axon Framework version. We have Java 8 and we're going to use Kotlin as well. As you can see, we have an Axon Spring Boot starter up here, which gives you all these nice uh, components that uh, Axon gives. We have the test suite to be able to test HSQL DB to have an uh, actual database, Kotlin, like I pointed out, and two other Spring starter packages, Data JPA, to simplify storage of query models and a starter web to actually access our application. Now, that's it for the structure of uh, the dependency setup. Now, let's actually open up the packaging setup inside. As you can see, we have a food ordering application, which is a regular Spring Boot app. And I'm not really going to code anything interesting in here. The sole thing I'm going to do is introduce a couple of packages. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to talk about the structure of our application, how we typically suggest you set up the app. So as we're doing CQRS, we will segregate the command and the query side. So we'll have a dedicated command package, but also a dedicated query package. Now, additionally, when you're doing CQRS, the easiest way to communicate with both components is through dedicated messages, commands, queries, and events. And as those are the sole things which go in and out of your app, they are the core API of your application, we're also going to dedicate that in a different package because this is a package we want to share with everybody because it is the API we discuss. This is the basis of the structure of an app and from here on we'll proceed in our second part. Well, and if you'd want to learn more regarding what we're doing here at Exonic, we obviously got our head webpage, exonic.io, where you can go to. You've got a reference guide ready for you at docs.exonic.io. We also have this food ordering demo I've been preparing in this guide and a GitHub repo you can look at. And lastly, it would be very great if you like this series, if you subscribe to our Exonic channel, which obviously is also the place to find these videos. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you next time.